Vivo model data was just incredible. When we first saw that antibody um, was stopped bleeding, it yeah. was really an incredible, incredible yeah. day. I've always lived a very active lifestyle and I love to go swimming outside and love to go biking and sailing. Staying active is an important thing for, for hemophiliacs to do, but that does also occasionally result in injuries. I spent a lot of time when I was younger with painful ankles, painful swollen ankles. And I remember being young, going through you know, a very stressful time when it was possible you would actually get a blood-borne infection from the treatment you were receiving. Hemophilia treatment for me when I was younger was pretty tough. Unfortunately, I lived a long way from the nearest treatment centre, and so I would often try to decide if a bruise that I had was actually going to become better or worse over time. The one thing that really hasn't changed over the years is that you have complicated infusion sets that require you to fill a syringe. Typically you're treating that bleed on a, on a daily basis and that is a significant burden. And I always thought that there was a better way to treat hemophilia. And when I went to university and studied biophysics and in particular learnt about it, protein structure and function. I always thought it would be great if I could use those skills to actually come up with a better hemophilia treatment. Growing up I had a couple of career ideas, but I really got the bug for science when I was in high school. So I've seen projects over the years to try to treat hemophilia in, in several different ways. During the early stages of the project, as a patient, I was very vocal about the kind of attributes I would want to see in this medicine, both from a perspective of dosing frequency and a device that could be used to deliver the therapeutic. And then as the project developed, I continued to be an advocate and making sure that everyone in the company would understand what an advance this would be for patients. One thing that we ran into in this program was that the standards for the qualities of biological molecules in general were increasing steadily over time. We became aware early on in the program that there were a lot of things that a molecule had to do to become a good medicine, more than what we had been expecting in the past. So not only did it have to work, not only did it have to last in circulation, but it had to be easy to manufacture, it had to be easy to deliver. So when we were discovering this molecule, we really wanted to have a profile that would be optimal for patients. We wanted a molecule that could be delivered no more frequently than once weekly. We were all a little bit skeptical, but we went into some preclinical studies with a range of molecules. That's where this beautiful moment of the modelers and the discovery scientists all coming together found the Goldilocks molecule. That was our drug. That was an amazing feeling because I think all of us had been sort of trained to think one way about how drugs should work, and then with the input of these other collaborators, we learned to think a different way. We don't always have a patient in front of us who's telling us how important a program is, but actually behind every program there are patients and there are people who may not be here to advocate for themselves, but we should all have that will in our minds advocating for this program because it applies to all medicines that we make. You don't get very many moments like that in a career, do you? No. It's super exciting to be with a program from the beginning when it was just an idea, and now finally to be something that perhaps patients could be able to take. That's the high point of any scientist's career, to see that what happened to the lab has now turned into something that is benefiting people. One of the things that you have to get used to as a hemophiliac is you're told you can't do things. So I think this is really important for the hemophilia community in general, and I hope that providing them with another treatment option would benefit them in, in the future.